people facing serious chronic illnesses, health concerns are an everyday matter. But in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, health challenges not only bring physical and emotional concern, but financial concerns as well. Joining us now is Stephen Jurison from Edward Jones to share with us much more on how we can prepare for this. Stephen, good to see you again. Uh, what areas are needed to be considered in order to prepare financially? Well, there's four key areas to think about. Investments, insurance, legal arrangements, and taxes. Now, you'll likely need to draw on your investments for at least some of the expenses associated with your illness. So within your portfolio, you may want to establish a special fund devoted entirely to these costs, whether that be for health care, modifications to your home, transportation, you know, things like this. And looking at insurance, depending on your health status, you may be able to collect Medicare earlier than the traditional starting point at age 65. Even so, you'll likely still need to supplement it with additional coverage. All right, what type of coverage are we talking about? So it could be something like a chronic illness rider that allows you to tap into your life insurance benefits while you are alive. Also, remember that some foundations, states, and drug companies do offer programs that can help pay for some of these costs that your insurance might not cover. What about the legal side of things? Well, if, if you haven't already done so, you may want to establish the, the legal documents that are most appropriate for your situation, such as a durable power of attorney for your finances. This gives someone the authority to manage your financial affairs if you become temporarily incapacitated, possibly due to flare-ups from your chronic disease. Now, once you've recovered, you can then regain control. You may also want to consider a health care proxy. Now, this person is someone that you appoint to make medical decisions if you're unable. And these must all be consulted with a legal professional. And lastly, we discuss taxes. You might qualify for Social Security disability payments, which are taxable, mind you, but you also may be eligible for some tax breaks related to your condition. And for more information, just be sure to see your tax professional. Stephen Jurison from Edward Jones. Good advice. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk soon. Thanks for having me.